Hey everyone, Elliot here. If you've got an iPhone, you've probably heard of three U-Tools. It's this all-in-one software for managing your iOS device. Pretty cool, right? But here's the million dollar question. Can it really kick that iCloud activation lock to the curb? Let's get into it. There are several tools like three U-Tools available to unlock iPhones, such as IE My Phone Lock Wiper, Tenorshare 4, Yuki, and Dr. Phone Screen Unlock. However, their success can vary based on your phone model and iOS version, and there are no guarantees. It's important to be cautious as there are legal and ethical concerns when bypassing locks, particularly on devices you don't own. There's also the risk of data loss or voiding your phone's warranty. Ultimately, it's better to consider all risks and possibly use official unlocking methods. But don't worry, I've got you covered with some alternatives that won't leave you hanging. We're talking legit methods, no sketchy stuff, and they're all in this handy guide I've put together for you. And the best part, you won't have to spend a penny or risk your security. We're all about that hassle-free life here, right? So if you're ready to break free from that lock, let's get started. Just a heads up, guys. Use this info the right way, okay? It's for you if you've just lost your login details and you actually own your iPhone or iPad. We're not about breaking the rules or messing with stuff that's not yours. Keep it legal, respect everyone's stuff, and remember we're playing by YouTube's rules here. Diving into the world of unlocking services, let's talk about what's out there besides three U-Tools. Remember, this is all about giving you the knowledge to handle a lockout situation. So you've got your iPhone and it's tied down with that iCloud activation lock. Uh, maybe you've heard about or even tried three U-Tools, but you're still staring at that lock screen. Where do you go from here? There are a few services making waves like Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. These guys are bringing some smart tech to the table using AI to help you get back into your device. Then there's safe unlocks. They've been on the scene for a while and they're all about a smooth process to get that lock off your device. It's pretty straightforward and user-friendly from what I've seen and heard around the tech circles. You might also bump into Locked to Owner or the iUnlock app. Each of these services has its own spin on the unlocking game. They're often talked about in forums and by tech enthusiasts as solid options to consider when you're dealing with a lock device. It's all about figuring out what might be the best fit for your situation. And in all of these cases, it's always about using these services responsibly. We're assuming you're the legit owner who's just hit a bit of a snag with your access. So as we move forward, we're going to take a closer look at how these services compare and especially how Unlockier's AI Unlocking Assistant might just be the tool to help you out, but we'll get into that in a bit. For now, just know there are options on the table that are worth a look. It's key to note that these unlock services tend to work primarily in first world countries. Now, if you're not able to access these services or prefer not to use them, we've got something special for our viewers. Every week, we give away 250 unlocks. Here's how you can get in on that. Just hit the like button for this video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Drop a comment below with your device model, like iPhone 80. Include your IMEI number and don't forget to mention your country. That's it. Once you've done these steps, we'll automatically enter you into the weekly draw for a chance at a free unlock. All right, let's get straight into how you can use unlockhere.com to get rid of that iCloud lock on your device. First things first, open up your web browser on either your phone or your computer and head over to unlockhere.com. This site's got a nifty AI assistant that's gonna be a big help. When you land on the page, the AI, affectionately known as Nifty, is going to ask what you need help with. You're going to want to click on Activation Lock to let it know you're looking to unlock iCloud. It doesn't matter if you're using an iPhone, an iPad, or an Apple Watch, they've got you covered. Just select your device type right there on the screen. Next up, you'll need to input your device's IMEI or serial number. Now, if you're not sure where to find this, it's easy for iPhones and iPads or Apple Watches that have cellular capabilities, you're looking for the IMEI. But if your device doesn't have that, you'll use the serial number instead. Here's a quick tip on finding it. On your locked device, hit the sleep button to wake it. Hit it once more and then tap the eye icon on the bottom right corner of the screen. This will show you the info you need. Once you've got that number, input that here so you can proceed with the other steps. Then the site will ask for some basic personal info. Make sure you put in details that are accurate because they're going to send you a confirmation code to your email. Agree to the terms, confirm that your device isn't stolen, and get the process rolling. Before you continue, don't forget to click I'm not a robot and complete the quick CAPTCHA. After that, click start process, and just like that, you're on your way. Check your email for a confirmation code. It might sneak into your spam or junk folder, so keep an eye out there too. Once you've received the code, grab that code, enter it back on unlock here, then shortly after, 
prove that you're not a robot and make sure to tap the button to validate the information. And just like that, the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. If the mentioned solutions didn't work for you, we've got a couple of options more. Let's break them down. First up, you could give Apple support a shout. Now you, you're going to need the original purchase invoice for this one. This is pretty crucial because it's how you prove to Apple that you're the legit owner of the device. Find that invoice. It might be in your email or with your purchase documents. Once you have it, contact Apple support through their website or give them a call. Explain the situation, show them the invoice, and they can help you remove the lock if everything checks out. Alternatively, if it's the Apple ID you're struggling with, you can reset that yourself right on Apple's website. Here's what you do. Go to iforgot.apple.com. Enter your Apple ID email and they'll guide you through the process. You might need to answer some security questions or enter a phone number associated with your account. Follow the steps and you'll be able to reset your Apple ID and password, which could help you get past the lock. Remember, these steps are here to help you with your device and we're rolling through this together, so stick with us. All right, let's chat about iCloud Unlock software. These tools claim to help you get past the iCloud activation lock. Now, you gotta use a Windows computer for this, which is a snag if you're not on that system. Here's the thing. Uh, while there's a bunch of software out there promising to unlock your device, picking the right one can be hit or miss. And here's a heads up. Downloading random software can sometimes mean downloading trouble, like malware. So you've got to be super careful about what you're installing on your computer. And for the curious out there, let's not forget about 3U tools. It's another tool in the box that some folks use for managing their iOS devices, but it's not a one-stop shop for iCloud activation lock issues. Now, if you're feeling iffy about downloads and want to play it safe, that's where online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks step in. These platforms are web-based, so no downloads, no fuss. They work directly from your browser, which means less worry about security risks, and they're designed to be straightforward and user-friendly. So with options on the table, it's about choosing what feels right for you. All right, so if the previous owner is willing to help out, there's a pretty straightforward way to fix it. This method is solid if you're on good terms with the seller and they're ready to lend a hand. Here's the lowdown. The original owner needs to jump onto iCloud.com. It's where all the magic happens. They'll sign in with their Apple ID, the one linked to your iPhone. Once they're in, they'll hit up the Find iPhone section. It's like the command center for all devices tied to their iCloud. Next, they'll spot your iPhone in the list and hit Erase. This is the digital equivalent of a clean slate. It'll wipe your iPhone clean, but we're not done yet. To make sure your iPhone doesn't think it's still theirs, they'll click Remove from Account. This cuts the cord between the phone and their iCloud for good. And that's the gist of it. Doing this should get your iPhone back in business, free from the past owner's iCloud grip. That's all for today. Thanks for sticking with us till the end. We hope you got what you need.